What's up guys? Today we are going to be looking at LL number 6, finally the last robot before we can get into the giant Interlink 6 robot. I'm so excited. Let's get into the review. so we finally have this dude outside of the box and taking a look at him he is amazing looking he's just absolutely wonderful I love this figure everything about the aesthetic of this guy is very pleasing especially when you get up close to him it's, looking at the detailing and the sculpting of this guy he's just as great as the other ones the other five that have come out before but one of my favorite things about this guy and this definitely have to be my all-time favorite thing about all of the characters is his spike claw hand boa that's sitting on his shoulders and I know these, these this boa goes to make the fingers for the um for the left arm but it just looks so cool on him and it, it gives him a very unique look to him and it, it, it's 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 absurd in a in a very neat way and I, that's probably my favorite thing about this character taking a closer look at this guy and you see that they spared no expense when it came to detailing everything from the gnarled just disgusting looking face to the bright and very striking paint apps that goes into that went into the eyes this guy is just absolutely amazing to behold i i love the socks that's used for the hoses and and even the fact that they used um paint for the actual muzzles of the gun, which is definitely something they didn't certainly appreciate the fact that they went that far out of their way to do. As far as articulation for this guy goes, he's pretty much right in the middle. He's got swivel biceps, he's got these weird wedge hips, um, he's got knees. He does have these crazy ankle joints that kind of allow him to get a very wide range as far as his how his ankles move, but that of course goes into uh, into being wrist articulation for robot towards the end. Um, no real articulation in the elbows, definitely none in the head. His head is, is pretty uh, stagnant, so the pose that he's in is what you get. But other than that, he's not bad. He's all right. All right he's, so he's my a final nice thoughts show on the figure, figure, if that's I what like you him. want he's, he's definitely a cool figure to have. In comparison to the others, I'd put him right in the middle. Certainly one thing that I absolutely love about this guy but I'm pretty, eh. I don't really have much of an opinion as far as everything else about the figure goes. He looks cool, but they all look cool. The giant boa is absolutely awesome, but that's pretty much all he's got going for him. Um, it's, with that being said, though, I certainly can't wait to, to get these guys together into the giant robot, and I definitely can't wait to do a review of that. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you around next time. Bye. So this has been a review of LA6. Tune in next time, and we will conclude with the uh, combined form of the Interlink 6 robot. Can't wait to see that. Can't wait to see you guys back again next time. Bye.